Hi guys! So today's video is going to be something different and it's something kind of special because it's my first ever request video. The user Jojo World 2 commented on my BAP Feel So Good Japanese single unboxing asking if I could do a BAP collection video. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to hopefully have another video up before too long with the rest of my K-pop collection. I wasn't originally planning to separate the BAP stuff, but after reading that person's comment, I'm glad that I did because when I was getting all my stuff together to film this video, I was like, this is so much stuff. If I put this with the rest of my K-pop stuff, this video would be ungodly long. So thank you, Jojo World 2, for the request, and I'm sorry that it took so long to get this video up. Life has been incredibly hectic lately and I have not had hardly any time to film unfortunately but hopefully I can get back on track now and get some more stuff up for you guys before too long. We're going to start with the albums first because that's kind of like the whole original point of a K-pop collection is the music and I have the album separated into different stacks so we're just going to go in chronological order through those stacks. So the first one I have here is the albums that were released before I became a BAP fan. So, we have their first single album, Warrior, and these are all out of print now, I believe, by the way. So if you don't have these, good luck getting them. I mean, I don't know how rare they are now, but if you're a BAP fan, they're, they're definitely worth seeking out. I just hate that the money won't go to the guys anymore, but that's probably why TS put them out of print, honestly. <laughs> So we also have their second single album, Warrior, which this was my favorite BAP album. This one in one shot for a long time because I love every single song on that one. Then we have their first mini album, No Mercy. This one has five songs. The singles both had four songs. And we've got their repackage of their first mini album. This is also their only repackage to date, which I honestly like because I'm usually not really a big fan of repackages. And this one has seven songs. It's huge. And unfortunately, because of the way this is made, the binding on it messes up really easily. Like, you can see my copy has some tape in the corners trying to keep it together, but it didn't do a very good job. It's just something that's unfortunately going to happen if you have that CD. And then we have their third single album, Stop It, which only has the three songs. And none of those albums came with photo cards, and I don't have posters for any of them because I got I got a lot of them like from Amazon used and stuff like that. And I got all of those in early 2013 when I first got into BAP. So next, we're going to move on to my second stack of albums here. And these are the albums that came out after I became a fan before the lawsuit. These all came with photo cards. I'm not going to be showing the photo cards in this video because I want to do a separate photo card collection video and I'm also still in the process of organizing my binder and making it look pretty and all of that, but so far I have Zello's card for basically every album except the two Carnival Special Editions. I'm supposed to be getting those soon, but anyway. So first we have One Shot. This is the album that basically made me a BAP fan. I actually became a fan just before this came out. And when this came out was basically when I was like, yep, th this is my ultimate bias group. I love these guys. I, I need this. So it's got five songs. Punch, One Shot, Rain Sound, Coma, and Zero. Zero is one of my favorite BAP songs of all time, as is One Shot. Then we have their third mini album, Bad Man. This has six songs, What's Poppin', Bad Man, Excuse Me, Coffee Shop, Bow Wow, and Hurricane. And it also came with this little stencil thing in addition to the photo card. So then after Bad Man came out, BAP made their debut in Japan with their first Japanese single, Warrior. This is the limited version of Warrior. Um, I actually did not get a photo card with my copy of this, and I was really bummed because I bought it, like, a couple months ago just for the photo card mostly, 
So I was very sad that I didn't get one, but I th did end up winning the Zello photo card I was missing from the set at an auction on eBay not long after. So that was good. I mean, I didn't like that I spent more money than I meant to, but I'm still happy to have this CD, this version and the Zello photo card in my collection. And I don't have the plastic case that the limited version came in anymore. I threw it away because I was trying to clear up space in my room. But it also came with this little light up Matoki ring. Kind of like a mini light stick almost, except it's a ring rather than a light stick. And so it's pretty cute. The Japanese singles, the limited editions always come with like a little bonus freebie item like that. And then I also have type A of the first Japanese single. I got Yonguk's card with this and I actually traded it for one of Zello's one shot Japan cards. But, like I said, I do have both versions of Zello's card now. And then we have Type C of Word. This was the first one I bought. I was originally just going to buy, or Type B, excuse me. I was originally just going to buy the Type Bs of the Japanese singles because Type B has all three songs. It has Warrior, Power, and Punch. Type A and the limited edition only have Warrior and one of the B-side songs. But at first... BAP had two photo cards per member for all of their Japanese albums. They've stopped doing that now. So it's not as necessary to get two versions to get both cards, but I still do it anyway because it's habit. So I am actually looking to sell Type B. If anyone is interested in buying it, make me an offer. Um, it does still have the OBI strip, but it will not come with a photo card. And I forgot to mention Type A also comes with the DVD, which has the Warrior music video, Japanese version, and the making of the music video, and an interview. So then after that, BAP released their second Japanese single, One Shot, which, of course, One Shot is one of my favorite BAP songs, so I obviously had to have this version. It's also their only Japanese single that's in a longer case like this. All the other ones are jewel case size, but this one was different. So I have the limited edition here, and the limited edition of that came with a 2014 calendar. I know, flashback, right? I actually had to double check what year that was. I was going to say 2015. I didn't realize it had been so long since this came out. So I have that, and then I also have Type A, which has the DVD with the one-shot music video and the making of. So then we move on to 2014, yeah, when they released their first full album, and their only full album to date, because TS is a little shit. It actually has, or it had in their contract, and it was one of the reasons that they did the lawsuit, because that they would get, their pay would only increase when they released full albums. So that is why TS constantly has them releasing mini albums and single albums and more mini albums and more single albums because as long as they don't release a full album, TS would not have to pay them more. So I don't know if that's still in the contract because obviously we don't know the terms of how the lawsuit was settled, but it wouldn't surprise me if it is because there have been no full length albums since this one. But this is a really good album and I really would like them to have another full length album again for that reason and also just because I want more songs. This one had 13 songs. I had three copies of this at one point because I went to their 2014 concert in New York which was amazing and so I had bought two copies of the album there in the hopes of getting a high touch and I won and me and my friend got to you know sort of meet all the members of BAP and give them all high fives and it was a really memorable experience. Like, I will never forget that. But I gave away my two extra copies of those to some of my other friends at the time who liked K-pop but couldn't go to the concert, so I brought those back as gifts for them. And so after that was BAP's third Japanese single, No Mercy. I have the limited edition. Again, I don't have the little case that it came in, but that one came with this cool necklace that I used to wear all the time. I haven't worn it in a while. I need to get back into doing it yet. I haven't worn a lot of jewelry recently, but I should start doing that again because I have some cool fandom jewelry. 
And then I also have Type A, which has the DVD with the music video, Making Of. It's, you know, standard at this point. And then their last Korean release before the hiatus was their Unplugged 2014 single. It only has two songs, Where Are You, What Are You Doing, and I think Definitely Today is the name of the other one. This is also the only BAP album that came out after I Behave a Fan that I don't have the poster for. Because I don't know why. I was dumb and didn't get it. And then finally, their fourth Japanese single, Excuse Me, which is one of my other favorite BAP songs ever. This is the limited edition, which came with this Matoki keyring. The actual keyring part broke off the first time I tried to use it as a keychain, so now it just sits on my desk as a decoration, and it lights up as well. And then, once again, I also have Type A, which has a DVD with the music video and the making of. So, now we're going to switch gears a little bit and show the DVDs that came out before the lawsuit. So, we have BAP's first adventure, 10,000 Miles in America. This is a DVD photo book set which documented their... Well, it sort of documented their first U.S. tour, but it doesn't really have, it's not like a concert DVD, it doesn't really have any concert footage, it's more of the behind the scenes of them traveling in America and filming the music videos that they filmed while they were here. And disc two has those music videos, it's got the regular versions of Coffee Shop and Hurricane, and then it also has special versions that are just member focused, like it's all Young Oak scenes, or it's all Him Chan scenes, or all Zello scenes, etc. for both videos. It is all region, and it has subtitles in English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. If you're interested in that DVD, I don't know if it's still in print. I would guess not, because TS put all the albums out of print. I can't see them keeping the DVDs in print. Then we have their first concert DVD for BAP Live on Earth Pacific Tour. Um, it also has behind-the-scenes stuff for the their 2013 tour, but... The concert footage is from the encore concert in Seoul with the Badman song, so it's not the same set as they had for the rest of the tour. Um, so disc one is the Live on Earth Seoul Wanted concert, disc two is the making of that concert, and then disc three is a special showing footage from their t tours in Seoul, USA, Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Singapore. It's the same U.S. tour that was documented on the First Adventure DVD, but it's different footage. This has more to do with the actual concert stuff. This version is the Korean version, so it's region code 1 and 3. There was also a Japanese version released that had photo cards, but it's a region I couldn't play, and it was ridiculously expensive compared to this one, so I don't have that photo card. That's like the one BAP photo card thing I don't have. And it has subtitles in English, Traditional Chinese, Simplified Chinese, <clears throat> and Korean. So then we have their second adventure DVD, 30,000 Miles on Earth. This one documents the tour that I got to see them on. Their 2014, what was it, Live on Earth Attack, I believe? Yeah, so disc one has... It shows the stops in New York, Dallas, Chicago, and L.A. And Disc 2 has more of the international tour, London, Paris, Germany, Melbourne, Sydney. And it also has the music video for Where Are You, What Are You Doing? Which they filmed in London, I believe. The regular version, the lip sync version, and the NG version. I actually have never watched the other versions of that video. I should probably do that. <laughs> this one is also Regions 1 and 3. And this one only has subtitles in English and Korean. Supposedly, they were supposed to release a tour DVD in addition to this one, but lawsuit happened, so the DVD didn't. And there was also supposedly going to be another DVD with footage from the additional stops of the tour that happened after this, but once again, canceled because of the lawsuit. 
And then finally we have this monster here, which is the biggest item on my K-pop shelf. I think. I don't know, 17's photo book probably gives it a run for its money, but I think this is still bigger. I haven't compared to make sure. But this is their first Japanese tour, Warrior Begins. It's the footage from their first series of Japanese concerts. They had concerts in Japan before, but this was their first ones after releasing Japanese music and promoting in Japan. It's, it's gigantic. This is the limited edition. There was also a regular version. Regular version just has... Let me get it out. This, which is the actual DVD part. Um, I'm trying to find out what region it is. I don't think it says... But anyway, because this is a special edition, it has the regular actual DVD, and then it also has this gigantic monster of a photo book. This was, it retailed for like almost 100 bucks, I think it was. But yeah, I lucked out and got it on, e on Amazon for way cheaper. I think, I want to say it was like 60 or $70, but, which is still a lot, but a lot less than 100 But I don't really remember for sure, because it's been a while. Then... You know, big lawsuit happened. BAP sued TS Entertainment, tried to get out of their contract. Um, we don't know how that was solved. We will probably never know how that was solved. But they ended up going back to their label, which a lot of us babies still have really mixed feelings about. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think we have to trust the boys and trust that they made that decision for a reason and just hope that things are better for them. So they came back with the album... Matrix with the title track Young, Wild, and Free. This is the regular version. I have the regular version here. Yep, for those who aren't BAP fans or who are a recent BAP, BAP fan and don't really know, the lawsuit happened at the end of 2014. This was released at the end of 2015, so it took like over a year for stuff to happen. And then I also have a signed copy of Matrix that I got from the Mnet meet and greet. It's the only time I did the Mnet meet and greet. Only signed K-pop thing I have. I don't know if I'll do that again or not. Um, I'm actually, I might, I'm interested in selling the regular version of Matrix with, that's not signed. It won't have a photo card though. But if anyone doesn't have this album and would like it, just make me an offer. Let me know and I might be interested in selling it to you. And then I also have the special T version of Matrix. It was released in six limited editions, M, A, T, R, I, and X, one for each member of the group. Now, the photo book is a little bit different from the regular photo book. There are some photos that are the same, and then each version had a few pages that were just the member that you specified. I got the Zello version, and then they also came with the special set of stuff, which I still have to figure out what to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to put it in my photo card binder or just leave it like this or what. But we've got sticky notes, stickers, a little pin thing, a different, a button pin with Zella's face on it, and this adorable Polaroid. That I should probably put in my photo card binder, or at least. And then bonus photos and stuff, but this isn't an unboxing, so. Oh, but it really cool thing. It also had the special thanks to paper where it has, there was a Facebook event where you could write your name in the comments and they put your name on this thing. And there's a crap ton of names. So I don't remember where mine is, but my name is on this paper somewhere, which is like the coolest thing. My name is in an album by my ultimate bias group. Like, hell yes. You really can't get like, like, what better thing for a fan than that, right? Young, Long, Free was a sort of rock-tinged, darker thing, like what a lot of fans know BAP for. Then after that, that, they've switched to brighter, more upbeat stuff. They also did that in their debut year. They started with Warrior and Power and No Mercy, and then they went a little lighter and softer with Crash and Stop It. Then they went back to darker stuff with One Shot. So I don't know if we're in the middle of another era like that, where they're having a lighter fun era and then they're going to go back to darker stuff later, or if they've just kind of switched to lighter stuff. I personally kind of hope it's the former, but I do really like the songs they're coming out with still, so I'm not like devastated if they don't change. You know, as long as they're happy with what they're doing and they're being treated like human beings, then I'm okay with that. Anyway, so they released the album Carnival early this year. The title track was Feel So Good. 
honestly, I had a lot of mixed feelings about this album when it first came out, but I still jam to this album, like, to this day. Feel So Good is still on my, on my playlist that I play at work. Like, I really am in love with that song way more than I thought I was going to be. And then it also has a special edition. Luckily, there was just one special edition this time, not six. Again, it has some of the same pages in the photo book, but it also has a few different ones. These also come with these special little pictures. It's random which one you get, but I have both because I bought two extra copies of the album for photo card purposes. You probably know that if you've seen the unboxing on my channel. But the two extra copies are still up for sale, and I'm supposed to be having a third one coming in the mail because I bought two Zello photo cards with a copy of the CD. So fingers crossed that that does arrive, and if it does, three special versions of Carnival. No photo card, but make me an offer if you want it, and it's yours. Because I need the extra money. <laughs> so then, after that, they went back to Japan and did some more promotions in Japan. And they released their first full-length Japanese album, Best Absolute Perfect. This album is interesting. Because it was actually supposed to be released in 2014. At the end of 2014. Before the lawsuit happened. They had the album planned. They released teaser photos. We didn't know any of the song titles or anything. But we knew the album was coming. And they had a tour scheduled called the B Act Play Tour. Obviously, as soon as the lawsuit happened, all of that was scrapped. And so for a long time, we didn't know if this album or the songs they recorded for it would even see the light of day. But they did, finally. Although, I don't know if they had originally filmed a music video and they scrapped that version and filmed a new one. Or if they hadn't gotten to that part yet and they just, you know, started over. But the video that they filmed for the title song, Kingdom, they filmed that either early this year or late last year. So that was new, but all the other stuff... The photo book and all that is from 2014, which is kind of funny to me because one of the songs on the album is called Back in Time. So it's like, because this album kind of is going back in time because it was originally supposed to be released two years ago. But this is the limited edition or the ultimate edition, which has this bracelet. I leave this bracelet in here because I don't know how to wear it. I know that sounds dumb, but I've tried and I can't figure it out. And it's also got this bigger photo book. I lied earlier. I said that was the that one shot was their only one that wasn't jewel case size, but this one isn't jewel case size either. Either I forget about this one because I haven't had it that long. But yeah, it's a really glorious photo book. I think if you're gonna get like just one of their Japanese releases, you should get this one because it has most of the songs from their Japanese singles. There's a couple that are missing, but. I mean, if you're not, like, a completionist and you just want, you know, the basic stuff, this is probably enough for you. But yeah, there were three new songs. The title track, Kingdom, Back in Time, and the intro track, New World, I believe is what it's called. Yeah. And then I also have the regular version, or not regular version, Type A, which has same track list, DVD, with the music video for Kingdom and the making of. I actually haven't watched that yet. I'm like, I've gotten really behind on BAP stuff post-lawsuit. I know it's terrible. I really do need to catch back up because I love these guys. I've been a bad fan. <laughs> Forgive me. And then the most recent release that I have, the special edition of Feel So Good, their, Japanese, their most recent Japanese single. I have an unboxing of this on my channel which you probably know because that's where the request to make this video came from. But it had Feel So Good and then a brand new song called Good Time on the special version. And the special version came with a random clear bag. The color, there were six colors, each one corresponding to a different member. I got the blue one, which corresponds to Zello. And so far I'm using this as my gym bag where I put my water bottle and my gym key and all that stuff when I go to the gym. So it, it's kind of handy for that. Then I also have version A, once again has the music video and the making of, which I also haven't watched. I need to, I really need to get on it. I'm so far behind on watching stuff. Um, and this one had the new song, Freaky Sound, instead of Good Time. 
So that is it for the CDs. I forgot to mention when I was talking about Carnival. The special edition also came with a random member standee. I have Zello's, finally. I got a trade for it. Yay. I love Zello. Um, and that one I display on my desk normally. And then I also have, if I can get it out. I also have Himchan's, but I haven't punched his out yet because I haven't decided if I am going to keep it or if I want to try to sell it. Um, if you're interested in this standee, make me an offer. I might be willing to sell it to you. Like I said, I haven't decided for sure yet, so that's why I left him punched in in case I do decide to sell. I have ordered their new single album, their fifth single, put them up with the title track, That's My Jam. It just hasn't shipped yet, so I will have that before long. I just don't have it yet because it hasn't shipped to me yet. Now that we're done with the albums and the DVDs, we have the official photo books. BAP originally released the recording photo books after every couple of albums. First Sensibility was the last one that they did that for, so I don't know if they're done with that or if that's the thing that they're going to do later. But I don't have take one or take two because those went out of print before I became a fan and they sell secondhand for like hundreds of dollars and I just, I love BAP but I just, I can't afford that for these. I know I spent 70 bucks on a 17 photo book but to me the 17 photo book is made a little nicer. So you probably can't see the whole thing but this is recording take three. This has photos from No Mercy, Rain Sound, Crash, One Shot, Stop It. Yeah, that was out of order, but everything from No Mercy to One Shot. But, and it's gorgeous. It's huge. I love it, but there's one thing I really don't love. And that is that it's not bound at all. The pages are all loose. So, I don't really know how to display this because I don't want it to fall apart. And that is why I won't pay $100 for the other versions for recording one and recording take two. Because I'm not going to pay $100 or more for a book that's not even bound. As much as I love BAP, I just can't justify that. And like, see, even just moving it out of frame, that happened. So yeah, these... I love the photos, but I don't recommend these for anyone who's not, like, a super hardcore BAP fan just because they're, like, a bitch to deal with because of the way the pages are made. Like, just look up scans of the pictures online, honestly. You'll do a lot better just doing that. Take 4 is a little better made because it's a little smaller. It's still not bound, but because it's smaller, it's a little easier to keep it all together. Um, this one had photos from Badman and... Angel Chunsa filming, and it also has DVDs. It's got the making of the Badman and Angel videos, and this one actually came with a photo card too. I originally got, I think it was Young Jay's, and I traded it for Zello's like almost immediately. I also have their official 2014 season's greetings calendar, which ended up being a little redundant because I also had the one shot calendar, but whatever. Oh. I forgot I put this in here for safekeeping. It, I also have a clear file from their Warrior Japan single. Yeah, that's pretty nifty. Um, this came with a lot of stuff. We've got the actual calendar, which is, you know, why people would buy it. Which, it's a beautiful calendar. I forgot how beautiful it was. Then we also have a scheduler, which you could have you know, written down your schedules for the year. I never did that because it also has photos of the guys and I didn't want to, like, I just wanted to keep it as, you know, a beautiful photo book thing. And then I also had a poster, which I had up on my wall for a while, even after 2014 ended. But I finally, you know, took it down and put some other stuff up instead. Because it had the days and dates for 2014 at the bottom. And then pictures of the guys. It's really hard to show posters. I'm sorry. And then it came with stickers. Which I've kept in here. Because I don't really know what to do with. I might move into my photo card binder. Once I get that more organized. And then I also had these postcards. Which again I might move into my photo card binder. I haven't decided. 
that's still very much a work in progress, which is why I'm not showing the photo cards in this video. But yeah, we have Jung Up, Him Chan, Young Jae, Dae Hyun, and Young Gook. No, I'm not missing Zello. Yes, it did come with Zello. Um, but I keep Zello's picture framed and on my desk. I know that's a little lame. It started when I was at school because I had an extra picture frame that I didn't know what to do with. And I was like, hey, this picture is the perfect size. Why don't I just put this picture up? And I, when I got home, I didn't have the heart to take it out of the frame. So he just sits on my desk like that. And plus, it's a really cute picture, too. I don't have the 2015 calendar. I will probably get it eventually because the pictures in it are really beautiful. I kind of regret not getting it, honestly. Because now it's like, I really don't need a 2015 calendar. 2015 has been over for like two years, but it's a beautiful calendar. It's beautiful pictures. So, I don't know. I didn't buy it because it was expensive, and that was when the lawsuit was happening, so I did not want to give TS any money. But I do have an unofficial 2015 and... 2016 calendar. My friends Leah and Beth got it for me when they went to Korea a couple years ago? Last year? I don't remember when it was. It was a while back. But yeah, it still goes until 2016, so I have it up on my desk currently. This is the calendar I'm using, and this is August's picture, the current one, for August 2016. If, I don't know yet if BP is going to release an official calendar for 2017. They didn't release one this year. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to buy. Season's Greetings this year is going to be a mess. Because before I could always resist. I was like, the only one I need is BAP. But now I have FX's Season's Greetings for this year. And I want to get 17s from this year. Even though it's over now. And so if 17 releases a 2017 calendar, I'll probably need it. But I'll also need VAPs if they release one. And I might need FXs as well. And also Shiny will probably... Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be a nightmare because I have too many groups that I collect now. Like, no. <laughs> Why this? But anyway, so that's it for the official albums and DVDs and photo books and stuff like that. But... I do have a few other random official items to show off. So, this is a page that's actually going to be in my photo card binder, but I decided to go ahead and show it to you because I was showing some of the other official photos like this. So, these were first press bonuses with some of the Japanese releases. Um, I got this one with my one shot albums from Yes Asia. This one is for No Mercy. I bought it from a baby later on because they were selling their collection to make some extra money. And it was a reasonable price, so I was like, why not help a baby out? This one is from Feel So Good. I actually got that as a bonus with a New East photo card trade because when the person originally sent the photo card, they forgot to put a stamp on it. So it got... Well... They thought it was lost in the mail, but it did eventually get returned to them, and so when they shipped it back out, they gave me, like, a bunch of freebies to make up for it. And I was like, that's the sweetest thing in the world. Because, like, if you see these things for sale on eBay, they're usually being sold for, like, 20 bucks or more. This one I got for, like, 10 or 12 which is why I got it. I was like, it's a really good price, and help the baby out. And this one was from Excuse Me. I got it with my Excuse Me albums from Yes Asia. And then this was the Tower Records bonus photo for Zello from, excuse me, I bought this from, I think it was the same baby I bought the No Mercy one from. Again, got it because it was a good price. I loved this era, this photo. I loved his brown hair. I'm honestly sad that it's blonde again. <laughs> but I also keep this one framed and on my desk for now. Um, I may end up moving into the photo card binder, but... Probably not, because I don't think it's going to fit in the sleeves I currently have. But if I get more sleeves, we'll see. I might move it there. But I might just keep it on my desk. And yeah, so that's it for, like, photo stuff. But now we have jewelry. Accessories. And I know you're probably like, what the heck does she mean, BAP jewelry accessories? But I'm about to show you. 
So if you're a BAP fan, you know they have the Matoki Bunny logo, and they've released a lot of, like, random merch with that on it. Well, I think it was in 2014, they released jewelry featuring the Matoki. The different ones for each member, and... So the first thing I got was the blue Totomato necklace, because this is Zello's Matoki and Zello's my bias, and blue is one of my favorite colors, so I knew I'll probably wear this necklace a lot. And I did. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the blue of his mask is, like, so, so faded now. This is not the color it was supposed to be. And it's because I wore it a lot, and so it got faded in the sun. There's also a little chip at the top of his mask where you can see the silver color coming through. I'm thinking about maybe trying to, like, repaint the mask the right color, but I'm scared to do that because I'm not artsy at all. And then there was also a set of six earrings. You could buy the earrings individually or all together. I bought them all together because it was a better deal in the end. And so I'll start sh with showing you Zello's because this is when you can really tell the necklace is faded when you see them next to each other because it's very clear that's not the same shade of blue. And they were supposed to be. And they were originally. <laughs> we have Jungup's Data, Data Motto, which is green. We have Young Jay's Joko Amato, which is yellow, and his mask is different than everybody's, too. Then we have Daehyun's Kiki Amato, which is white. We have Him Chan's Tats Amato, which is pink. And finally, last but not least, we have Young Gook's... Oh, crap. What is the name of his? I just blanked out on the name of Young Gook's Matoki. I'm going to remember it, and I'm going to feel so stupid that I didn't remember it. But it's red, anyway, as you can see. I also went to BAP's concert this year in Atlanta, the Live on Earth Awake tour. I wanted to get some goods after the show, but by the time I got to the merchandise booth, they were pretty much all sold out. But I was able to buy these wristbands. Um, this one says BAP Live on Earth 2016 World Tour. And it also glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. And then this one says, Baby, Forever With You, B-A-P. I paid probably way too much for them, considering what they go for on, like, Yes Asian and stuff like that, but it was the post-concert euphoria, and I wanted to give the boys some more of my money, because it was a great show, and, I mean, they've, they, they really mean a lot for me. They've done a lot for me over the years, like... Not them personally, but their music and what they stand for has helped me out a lot. So I was like, I've got some extra spending money. You know, this is for y'all, for everything you've given me over the years. <laughs> like, I can really, truly never repay that. And I also have this fan-made wristband. It also says BAP Live on Earth. U.S. Awake 2016. It actually looks pretty similar to the officials. Like, if I didn't know this wasn't official, I wouldn't know it wasn't. And it's also got their names in Korean. And I got that actually from a scene blue photo card trade, which is pretty cool. And then I have the light stick. Version one, because I like version one better. I wasn't originally going to buy the light stick. I didn't have it for my first concert because I thought they were way too expensive for what it is. But in late 2015, late last year, I saw a baby on Tumblr was selling their old light stick for like, I, I want to say it was $12 that I got this for. It didn't have the box. That was like the only thing that was wrong with it was that it didn't have the box. And I was like, heck yeah, they're probably going to come back here next year and I want to go see them. So I would love to have a light stick. So I had this for their 2016 show in Atlanta and it was awesome. So, like I said, BB does a lot of stuff with their Matokis, makes a lot of merch with that, and that includes stuffed animals. So, I have the Totomato plush. I honestly would love to have all six of them. They're adorable, but they were like 50 bucks each, and I love BAP, but I'm not spending 50 bucks for six stuffed animals. I'll do it for one, but not for six of them. And then they later also released a smaller keychain version. And on Impulse, I got Zella's version of that as well, Toto Motto. And then we have 
probably the most embarrassing fangirly item in all of my collection. This is also from the Live on Earth World Tour. I did not buy this at the concert. I bought it later. It's a cushion cover is what it's officially called. But basically what it is is a pillow with Zello's face on it. Yes, I have a pillow with my Ultimate Biases face on it, and yes, I actually have it on my bed. No, I don't, like, snuggle it or anything. I'm not that far, but yeah. Honestly, I just got it because I love the picture, not because, oh, it's a pillow with his face on it. I actually debated whether I should get it because of the fact that it was a pillow, but I really do just love the picture a lot, and honestly, like, with the lawsuit and all that, any excuse to give BAP some more of my money, I'll, I'll kind of take it. So I thought I was almost done showing my collection, then I realized I forgot one very important thing, and that is t-shirts. I have four BAP shirts, one is unofficial, the rest are official. Okay, so this one my friend made me. And it says, what's your B? Best Absolute Perfect. And then on the back, it has a picture of Zello's Matoki and Zello's name. Because it's fan-made, the print is kind of fading a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on camera, because I've had that for like three years, and I've worn it a ton. And so then we have some of their official concert shirts. This one is from their Live on Earth 20... 14, no, 2013, Soul Wanted. It's just got BAP at the top there. And then at the back, it says BAP Live on Earth. This one I bought online after the concert because it was a Soul concert, so obviously I didn't buy it in person. So then we have their Live on Earth 2014 shirt. This one's probably my favorite. I probably wear it the most. And then on the back, it's got BAP Live on Earth 2014. This is from the con the first BAP concert I went to when I saw them in New York, but I didn't buy it at the concert. I actually bought it online later because a lot of times the K-pop goods are cheaper to get online for imported from the Korean concert than they are to buy at the U.S. concert, which is a little crazy, but that's the way it is. And then I also have the shirt from the other concert that I saw BAP. The Live on Earth Awake Tour. This one just says Awake on the front. It's white. It's the raglan style. I really like this style. But because the concert happened in spring and now it's summer, I haven't had a chance to wear it very much because it is ungodly hot and I am not going to wear long sleeves in the summer in the south. No. It's ungodly hot here and I'm not in the mood to die. And then on the back it just has the Live on Earth Awake logo and then Live on Earth 2016 World Tour. So yeah. That is it for my BAP collection other than photo cards, but that I'm going to show in the photo card video whenever I get around to making it, and the posters, but those I'm not showing because I can't really show you them in the view of my camera. It doesn't work. I've tried. In conclusion, BAP are my ultimate bias group, and I have way too much merch for them, as you all have now seen. So yeah, sorry this video was kind of a mess and is way too long, but... I hope you still enjoyed, and I hope you look forward to the next video. Bye!